You never know when it's right to ship a 1.0 and it always feels too soon. What's the worst thing that can happen? People don't like it? We'll find out eventually. We better find out now. It's been, I think, six months or less, and we're about to be shipping this browser to hundreds of thousands, hopefully millions of people. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. First question. For us, the release is very much the beginning, and we try to aim for way before we feel like it's done. It is like daunting because it's a whole other platform. Like it's, and there's so many, like way too many users. Well, there's just so many different ways that a Windows app can crash. It's controversial. We're not a beta anymore. The expectations change. Every time you ship 1.0 is a is the first chapter in a story. Do you want to say it together? <laughs> yes, okay. When, when on Windows, Windows 10. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Soon. Soon. <laughs> we hear you guys. We're just a small team and we started with Windows 11. I mean, like, you go deep on the subreddit. It's it's already out there. Like, you know, people, <laughs> people have figured out how to run it on Windows 10. So, like, you know, we can do it too. <laughs> Unofficially on Windows yeah. 10. This is not a recommendation. Don't do that. We will be bringing it to yeah, you in an official our... capacity. <laughs> All right, next question. Is there a timeline for ARC for Mac feature parity? I've seen BCNY show off so many cool new ARC features, only always to realize it's just for the Mac version. It's a great question. Uh, parity can mean a lot of different things. Uh, parity in the context of ARC on Windows and ARC on Mac is gonna come through the form of both beefing up the Arc on Windows app and also paring down the Arc on Mac app. We're a prototype team, we have a prototype culture, but as a result of that, there are a few things in the Mac app that have maybe no place in it anymore. It's about finding the balance between what's ARC on Windows, what's ARC on Mac, and then what's what's ARC. Yeah. It's so nice having everybody here. So this brainstorm, the purpose is going to be to figure out what are we doing after GA? What's up next? I had easels on here. Deflake the networking stack and feature flag generation and interaction. And uh, we or I should fix the tab switching performance. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot to do. We've gotten Windows to a point where we're like ready to show it to the world, and this was our first chance to be like, well, what about after that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's next? Yeah. Okay, this isn't really a question, it's more of a statement. I want all the AI features. Well, us too. <laughs> us too. Yeah. And they're coming soon. We're about to we're about to work on them and I think the question is in what order and mm. which ones. Yes, yeah. so there was a big big cluster of sticky notes that said ArcMax on them, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's coming. I know I really miss uh, like Ask on Page. I uh, I miss that one too. Right? Do you use it in Slack? I use it on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> when Taylor Swift's new album came out, of course, I was deep on her Wikipedia, figuring out her entire life history, and Wikipedia only can tell you so much, right? You need, you need AI to tell you the rest. <laughs> Include the one for my dad. It said, it said, that's my kid. Oh, yeah, nice. I just saw that. Um, from our, our dear friend Josh Miller. Hey, Josh. I bet each of you doubted that we could pull off Swift on Windows. Uh, what do you wish you could have told yourself back then when you had doubts about if this was even possible and worth doing? I think maybe what I would have told myself is don't second guess as much. Back then, if we had known that this was going to be the world that we were living in, we would have had no doubts as to whether or not Swift on Windows was the right call for us. Mm -hmm. If you have a Swift app on Mac, you can de build something and deploy it on Windows pretty quickly. We decided we wanted to add picture-in-picture -picture to the very first version of Arc on Windows, and we were able to get that entire project end-to-end -end done in three days. Kind of amazing. Why is this such a big feat? Not only is this the most fleshed out app in Swift on Windows, to put things in perspective, uh, the next most complicated Swift on Windows app was a calculator. We really wanted to like, find the balance between like what it meant to have Arc on Windows, but also like not have it feel like we just ported the Mac version over. A lot of us 
It's the first time we're all designing on, um, on, on Windows. Yeah, I think the hardest parts were probably just like figuring out what we do with the top bar. Um, I can show you different versions of what that almost looked like. If, if we just brought over like the Mac top bar, like how bad would that feel? If we added like a little glassy version of it, if we minimized it and just had like smaller little little bits on the left and the right. Um, we had a right sidebar, uh, which <laughs> we, we tried, we explored briefly. I really like this blurry material that just kind of like em embraced the top bar, but also didn't like focus on it so much. Yeah, we tried one where it like kind of tucks into the top. I mean, I, I still think there's like tons of room to iterate and tons of room to grow from where we're at. There's tons of energy internally and externally to try to make that top bar as invisible as possible. <laughs> I'm a happy man. <laughs> How are performance improvements taken care of? Super high priority. This is, I think, one of the biggest things on our minds right now. A uh, great thing and the complicated thing about Windows is the diversity of hardware. Yes. You can have all kinds of different machines with different specs. They're different performance challenges, but yeah, we have amazing people working in performance. My job is to make sure that ARC runs fast and like, it's efficient and, like, uh, and stable. You do a good job, Matthew. He's fantastic. <laughs> We have three different verticals that we're working on this milestone, which all ultimately tie back to how fast can you use the internet. I think there's one more, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about this at lunch. When Android? Uh, soon. I'm personally very excited about Android. Uh, we have a Slack channel uh, uh, for Android uh, where some preliminary stuff is happening. I check it every day. And if you are a talented Android engineer, we'd love to hire you. Arc on Windows is the most simple set of features that we felt we needed to put together to bring Arc to Windows. And now we get to look ahead and get creative about what we want to follow up with next. Excited to get plenty of feedback, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll be all kinds of feedback. It's, it's nice to see how much people care. Tuesday, forward, this is a live build. We want to gesture towards the future of Act 2. A browser that is deeply personalized to you, that browses for you, does things on your behalf. So anything that doesn't fall into that category of work is not going to be on our plate for this milestone. It's, uh, we are not done. <laughs> it's like, it's just the beginning.